Nintendo is shutting down and discontinuing both the Wii U and the 3DS eShop in March of 2023. Let's have a look right after this. Yes, both the Wii U and the 3DS eShops are shutting down as of May 23rd this year, 2022, you'll no longer be able to use your credit card to add funds to the, your Nintendo eShop on the Wii U or the Nintendo 3DS. Starting August 29th of this year, you won't be able to use any eShop card to add funds to any account. So none of those eShop cards that you can buy in stores can be used for any type of funding on both of these storefronts. If you still have download codes, those will still work up until late March of 2023. That's when everything shuts down. But the good news is even after the shutdown of March, 2023, you'll still be able to download any games that you already own as well as DLC, get updates and play online on both the Wii U and the 3DS consoles. If you go directly to Nintendo to get some more information and we quote, it says, we currently have no plans to offer classic content in other ways. And it's definitely not something gamers want to hear. Video game preservation is becoming a hot topic in the gaming world. Xbox has embraced it and Sony is trying to do the same. Hopefully with Project Spartacus, we're gonna see new updates and information on how they're gonna allow many gamers to be able to go back and play some of those old classic games. It's a little bit unfortunate to all us Nintendo fans out here that Nintendo has not taken the same stance. Hopefully this is only just the beginning and hopefully things are going to change and they're going to decide to bring in some sort of solution to help us preserve all of our gaming and continue to enjoy the classics. Or that's what they're known as right now because it's been so many years since the release of these consoles. 3DS was released over 11 years ago. That's a long time. With Nintendo Switch Online, they have pretty much forced all gamers to go on to their subscription model. Now, we have nothing against subscription models. I mean, it's a great different way for gamers to enjoy games, but the choice and the option should be there. Gamers should have the ability to choose to take on a subscription and also be able to purchase whatever they want rather than just having one choice. Hopefully Nintendo changes their mind and fixes all of these little things that are that are limiting gamer. That's it for this one. Hope you all enjoy. Take care. See you all in the next one.